Arctic reign over my family and the entire eastern shore is now over. He's done. It is now our time and mission to take back our community. I made him a promise over a year ago that once justice was secured for Sarah's murderer, that he would be squarely in my headlights and he would be held responsible for his actions. I have listened to him run his mouth nonstop for 15 months and six days, and now it's my turn to talk. Who, you ask, am I talking about? Well, I'm talking about Joe Albero, blogger extraordinaire. That's his opinion, not my opinion. In my opinion, he took over the role of victimizer of Sarah and my family when Legs was arrested. In my opinion, from the very moment of her kidnapping, he set about to intentionally cause emotional distress to us. In whose opinion is it okay to victimize the family of a brutally murdered 11-year-old child, starting before her body was even found? If you think that's okay, raise your hand. No hands. In my opinion, Albero and his cult seem to think it's okay and even revel in it. We have been victimized by Joe Albero and his cult repeatedly over the last 15 months and six days because we were determined to let nothing stand in the way of Justice for Sarah's murderer. We had no other option but to wait. But today, good citizens of the Eastern Shore, we are taking our voice back and we will now seek justice against Albero and those others who also perpetrated crimes against her. We're not the first to be victimized by this man, but we will be the last. This man, in my opinion, is mentally unbalanced, dangerous, delusional, a misfit, a pervert, a con artist, an uneducated, low IQ fool, a racist, a homophobe, and a misogynist. In my opinion, he is a first class bully, a cyber terrorist, a bottom feeder, a parasite, a pig in a dicky and a sweatshirt. In my opinion, he must be eradicated once and for all. In my opinion, he has done more damage and harm to the good and decent people of the Eastern Shore than any other one person in recent history. He inserted himself into the middle of this nightmare without invitation. He claimed credit for what he did not do. Believe it or not, he actually claimed that he paid for Sarah's funeral a bold-faced lie told by him to anybody who